this is Neko Knight here. I'm going to be showing you the world of Scrap Mechanic. I've been playing the game for a little while. I've uh, learned some tricks and stuff myself. Like this fire here, you don't need to put it out. You can simply just reach through with your right mouse button and pull up the items, the two drinks and the gas there. I recommend grabbing the radio as that's used for crafting for it later. You could grab the microwave, but I find no point in it. I do find a point in this though, as it it's a great mini storage chest when for beginners. The beds, they're good for when you uh, die. Although no point in sleeping in the ship bed unless you have stuff you want to gather here but right now you'll just literally die and respawn right there this fire you do need to put out scrap wheels there's no point in making them or even gathering them because you can run faster than you can drive there's a lot of chests around the ship depending on where you look Scrap wheel useless gas that's gonna be useful. Where's he? Uh, for those who have never played before or are beginners, these where the ship crashed, you wanna collect a, a few of them. How many I don't remember, but you wanna at least let's say get a stack of ten. Because they will they will help you for crafting material later on. It's useless. Another thing is is uh, part of the ship crashes, splits off and crashes over to the side. Based on the wreck here should be towards this side right here this will give you more embers if you decide to harvest them all there's also depending on your luck a hay bot they're relatively easy to take on but my first goal is to gather everything in around this all uh, shipwreck maps like this are the same spawn but anything past that is uh, randomly generated so for now you, this will always be the same you always uh, find, get the ship here you will always have some boxes you always get your embers So it's good enough. The next thing, all right, that's a scrap reel. The next thing is right over here through these fences, which is normally straight out that door, is the water that will teach you the basics to farming. You can right click to pick up your bucket. There's two ways to fill it. First way is simply click, and the second one is if uh, you want to do it for fun, is just walk into the water, and as you can see, it's filled. This area usually has two buckets, the soil is important. You want to grab as all of that as you can. I'm going to place a couple down so I can show you a trick. It's not, well, not really a trick, but just something that helps out. And with the buckets, if you fill it up and you throw it just right, you can water up the four plots. But if you 
but that's a little bit difficult because you have to target just the right spot but if you do it right you can usually get two in water which will save you the number of trips of running back chucking and that instead of watering this like nine times I can water it one two three four five times I normally don't grow this because I find it kind of pointless it's just literally the basics pick up all the dirt because you're gonna need that Oop. I guess first battle right off the bat not expecting that they're kind of easy if you back away and you swing like this Try not to get stuck behind things, otherwise you'll get hit. They dr sometimes drop components, but not always. I got lucky there. You're definitely going to need these for when, for uh, later on. So when you see them, gather them. And where the hell did it go? I like to collect the pipes because I find them useful from this. I, you can use them for all kinds of contraptions. This has a bearing that's hidden right there, which is something you're going to want. This is up to you on whether or not you want to keep that or get rid of it. I usually get rid of it. More of this. Oops. Too hard. Collect the seeds, although you can get a bunch of them really easily. Another bucket which will help. Oops. Growing which helps speed up carrots, the tomatoes. I recommend stripping this down. I find the scrap wood to be useful for the beginning stages. You can take these. This uh, is actually moderately helpful, but light's definitely something you want. You can take these, but they break so easily, it's pointless to have them. Pop, ta-da, pop. The only reason why I don't take this is it takes a moderate amount of time to grab, or at least they used to. And they don't have too much durability, and they take up a lot of space. Now that I've collected all that, all right. Pick up the water, pick up the water. Now to go put out the fire. You're gonna have to one put out that. Realistically, you only need to put out one side of this fire. But I like to put out both sides. This is helpful later on. In the beginning, you don't need it at all, but it's helpful for later. More light switch. That's actually the switch is actually very important for uh, later builds. Scrap wheel you don't need. I need to put that last bit of fire out because that's important. So let's go collect more water. one I just like to grab the extra now that this is all set up oops now to go and um, get the battery which is actually very simple you literally just follow the trail of cargo or 
follow the mess, which you can see there's where you crash the batteries up there. Normally, you don't face a bots right off the bat, and component kits are actually very important. There's something you're gonna need a lot of them. So if you're lucky, you can get 10 of these. If not, well then you're gonna have to fight. These are normally what you face off, and they're easy. You just walk, three swing, walk back a little bit, three swings, and they're out. Haybots take five swings, and they have a chance of actually hitting you, even when you're walking around. No boxes there. Chips are important, but eventually you fill up on a lot of them real quick. Now let's go up one more bucket, which is imp it's not important. Realistically, you only need one, but it's less number of trips having to go fill up. There's another these guys if you find these legs harvest them you're gonna need them harvest 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 uh, it's all bad check this more gas. Don't probably don't need that much for that. Ooh, yes, component. You don't need to put out the fire. You can just grab, smack this out. Who carrots? Ooh, soil. And. recommend not jumping off because there's a high chance you'll die then you'll end up spawning over there you have to run back over grab your bag then run back up here should be a little bit more stuff smack Ooh, lots of soil that's gonna be helpful for later another arm Chest. Ooh, beats. Uh, these are now seats, but I'm looking for component kits. Go up. Ooh, soil. all of that drop down and let's head back I don't get stuck go 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 Still gotta be careful just in case enemies might pop out, but the chances are extremely rare. It's getting nighttime, which sadly you cannot sleep through the times just yet. I don't know if they'll ever implement that or what, but let's take this battery, place it in. And then it unlocks this. Woo! Grab it. Grab it. L to look at it. You've got a crash ship, the mechanic station, which you're gonna need. You set the waypoint. This is actually something new from the first time I played. Alright, that's.
that's all that, so on to the mechanic. Probably gonna take a while, but I will say running is a lot faster than driving with uh, those scrap wheels. Personally, I think they should modify the scrap wheels or adjust them so that they're faster than running. They probably are faster, but they you bounce around so much it's stupid. Follow this. This will bring you to enemies. You want to be careful getting into fights with more than one of these guys because they can assist each other and push in each other. Ow. There's one down. And there's two down. Gotta be careful because there's more over there. Ooh, component, sweet. And an arm. Grab the arm. Ooh, another component. Grab the other arm. Look around. Okay. Box. Seeds. Break. Seeds. Chip. Ooh, chemicals. Yes. Uh, more boxes. Ooh. Luckily that was there to that was eventually I'll get better at doing all this, but for now I'm just learning as I go. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, yay, more components. Another iron to refine. Trying to get this done rather quickly. So that I can actually get into the game instead of giving a basic tutorial. Uh, I didn't realize how long it would take. If I could, I would... Mod I, I'm gonna eventually learn how to edit out unnecessary parts like this trip to there but right now I'm still learning how to do all of this I'm gonna have to grab that box let's, hurry. let's go 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 the pain in the butt for me Ragdolled. Attempt number two. Let's go. Da, 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 da. There's actually easier ways to do this, but you could run and jump it. Dang it. Fail number two. Let's try number three. If I can. I might just build a small bridge. Did I check? Yes, I checked that. But I just don't want to have to go and fetch. <laughs> Fell number three and almost had it. This is getting annoying. Going, 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 try, yes, got it, it's on number four. Pop this, grab this, grab that, pick that up. More arms, that's going to be needed. I'm almost done, and then I'll be able to quickly run over to the mechanic 
and this will be the end of, the, and that will be the pretty much roughly the end of the first episode of this. I plan to do a bunch of games. I just that's more important than something. Then let's eat a tomato because I'm getting low on thirst. Tomatoes are great for water. Carrots are great for food. Shakes heal you. Alright, I got everything up here. Quick drop. Alright. Let's go grab that. I forgot about it. The one thing that's nice about finding chests is nighttime allows it to be the easiest. Whoa, that explains the noise. Come on, dodge it. Smack, dodge, smack, smack, dead. No component this time, which sucks. Harvest this. All right, be careful. There's another guy over there. I could take him out, but it would be a waste of time. Let's go fetch this box. Another box. Sweet. Ooh, chemicals. Pick up scrap. Oh, whoa. Oh, there. Smack, smack, smack. Dead. No component, but an arm. That was actually pretty close. Alright. These are great for emergency food. You just take carry corn over there plop it down in front of it it plops out milk and so it's going to be useful normally uh, let's follow the road for the, before they had this update the easiest way to find the scrap mechanic shop was literally to follow the road Which I don't have any uh, current room for. Ooh, water. That's gonna be useful for later. Lights, gonna need those. Let's see, can I pick that up? Let's pick this up. I'm gonna have to tear this all down later. That's probably my next goal. Let's kill you. Oh, inventory full. What should I trash out? Uh, I'll just eat this. Hey, bots, toad bots, and farm bots attack those walks. As you can see. And continue following along the road. You don't have to if you don't want to. That is a warehouse, which will be later. That looks like to be the burnt forest biome, which is going to be useful in a little while. That is the shop. There's actually a decent amount of water nearby this area place I might be able to establish a quick base depending on how the, the water turns out because peninsulas turn out to be the best defense best place to build for uh, beginning starting out farms because you can have all the enemies focus in one direction instead of all directions like this peninsula it's small, but you can plant your farm back up in here. Why don't 
build a wall right across and easily defend against the enemies. Since I'm now at this area, I'll show you the power on and call it, a, call this the first episode. A little bit longer than I had hoped, but yeah, I'm uh, still learning. I'll eventually figure out how to edit things out. You're definitely going to want to sleep in this bed because uh, you will die uh, for beginners because you're going to be learning the attack patterns and movement of the enemies. This one, be careful because there's always, there's, they usually always have a bot in them like this, which, ooh, come on, stop. Come on. Dead. Circuit. Grab. Oops. Harvest. Uh, I don't want to build it in here because the bots respawn. Let's just take right here and switch this out. Place that down. Place this in, place this in, place that, place that. I made a little bit more room. Alright. Let's grab the battery. And then let's turn this on. And that will be the end of episode one. I plan to make this in a bit of a anime style like making episodes making seasons all that fun stuff there's that it's all on that's powered i'll show you the next missions and everything else in a uh in the next episode hope you guys give me feedback hope you guys tell me what was good what was bad and maybe even give me hints on what I can do better next time. Anyways, goodbye and see you next time.